Tim Kovart, Break the Law. Break the Law, Tim Kovart. My grandfather was a great man. When I was just a kid and I was bored, he was there to play with us. When we were having fun, he was there to share our laughter. When we were sad, he gave his shoulder to cry. My grandfather was someone who wanted to help everyone. He was a man with a heart on the right spot. Besides being so helpful, he always obeyed the rules. Until that dramatic day. Fellow Toastmasters, most honorable guests, 31 December 1994. I know it's a long, long time ago, but I still remember that day very vividly, and that's because it made a huge impression on me. That day, you would say it's a normal Belgian winter day. A bit cloudy, a bit raining, I guess you know those days. But this day was just a slightly bit different. It had been freezing really hard during the night, and in the morning there was a rainfall. As a consequence, there was a very slim layer of slippery ice on the pavement and on the street. As my grandfather obeyed every law, and as he wants to help all the people, he decided to remove the ice from the pavement. That's obliged in Belgium. He put on his boots, he put on his warm winter jacket, took his bucket with the salt, his sharp shovel, and he went out to remove the ice. Unfortunately, the opposite happened. The ice removed him. <laughs> Just after some seconds, when he was out, my father, my grandfather, was laying on the floor. Half of the salt on him, but that was not the bad thing. He was screaming really hard. And there were tears in his eyes. My grandfather ran outside, darling, darling, how are you? How are you? What, what's going on? I think both immediately knew this was not the New Year's Eve they expected. They called the ambulance. The ambulance took my grandfather. And the surgeon said, yes, yeah, sir, that's a broken hip. But I have good news. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, what can be the good news? Well, you will be the last patient of 1994. <laughs> you just have enough time to repair your hip. My grandfather was already thinking, oh, yeah, maybe I can celebrate New Year's Eve together tonight. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> but he went into, the, into surgery, and everything went extremely smooth. In no time, everything was fixed. The doctor was getting in the right party mood. He only had to clean the equipment and get the bed to transport my grandfather back to his room. He turned to my grandfather, and my grandfather was not on the table. One out of 10,000 people falls from the surgery table on the floor. I guess less than one out of one million gets serious injuries. Well, you might have guessed that was the case for my grandfather. He broke his collarbone. At that moment, we knew 
definitely this New Year's Eve was not going what my grandfather expected. It was not going to be what the whole family expected, but it was also not going to be what the bloody surgeon expected. Our family was... But it was New Year's Eve. So, okay, what can you... Now, there's one problem. Actually, there's one thing both the hip and the collarbone have in common. You cannot put them in a cast. In order to, let's say, repair from the broken hip, you have to walk and practice as much as possible. But in order to have a good collarbone again, you should not use your arm. Small problem. This literally means my grandfather was almost chained to his bed for several months. And when I went, when he was back at home, and I went to his place, and I saw him there, and I looked at him, and I knew how bad he was, how much it influenced him, both physically and mentally. And I can tell you, that changed me. And at that moment, he reached to me and he said, Tim, remember one thing. You can be good in life and you should be good in life. Give the people around you all the love they deserve. But do not blindly follow the law. <laughs> <laughs>